Today I will be showing you how to make this butterfly, this exact one, and you can use whatever color you want. You can make it rainbow in the wings, it'll be more colorful than this, but you'll need about 213 rubber bands, give or take. So let's get started. Let's make the wings. We're going to make the top one first and you'll have to pause the video to make a second one. So to make the top one, you're going to take a single twist double and you can do whatever color you want and I'm coming diagonally from the first peg to the second peg single double from the center to the right second single double and I'm making this all black so I'm coming down five times two three, four, five, and my border would be black. I'm going to add a little bit of blue, taking a single twist double, and we're going to single double our whole wing. Coming down twice with the ocean blue, single double, and then I'm going to come down with the navy blue, single double, three times. Now for the th left row, I'm doing the same thing, taking the ocean blue, single double, and I'll come down three times. And then I'll come down with the navy blue three times, single double, to give it a little bit of color. And this one I kind of did progressive red, orange, yellow, and again you can do whatever color you want. So my last navy blue, and now the outside border, I'm going to make it black, so single, twist, double. to close off our wing. So first I put it from the center to the right and then from the center to the left peg. And we don't want our rubber bands to overlap. And now we want to take a single and loop it three times to create four loops like that. Taking a single, twist, double, and pulling the loop bands onto the single we just doubled and we're making the tip of his wing a little sharper to add it to the top peg there on the right the end peg. Now take a single and we're going to cap this off by looping it three times to create four loops or looping it a total of four times to cap that end peg off. And now we're going to put some connector bands, taking whatever color that's coordinating. So I'm taking it and I'm going to loop it once on the second peg on the left and just keep going down. We'll do that four times. And this one here on the fifth peg, so that's one, two, three. On the fifth peg, I'm going to do a black and I'm going to loop that three times. And that black will be attaching to the bottom of our wing. There's two sections for this top wing. So I want to, it's gonna be hard to see it, to find this connector band. So what I'm doing is taking a single, going under, grabbing my holding band and just kind of let it dangle right there so I can see my connector band easier when we when we loop when we connect it so now take a single double and I'm putting some holding rubber bands to hold our wing together so that's from the third peg to the third peg and just continue down we'll do that four times single, double, 
and then one more. So those are holding rubber bands. It should be four of them. Now you want to go under on the left side, the cap band, grab the top two black and loop up and onto the center. Now reach in the center, grab the top two black and loop up to the right side. And let's loop the black on the right side or the right, the bands on the right side of our loom, the right row, just loop up to the very second peg up top. So loop up very carefully, don't over pull your rubber bands. Now let's do the center. Just reach in, grab the bottom two bands and loop it onto itself. Lastly, reach in the left side. And now go in the right peg, grab the top two black, I mean the bottom two, and continue grabbing the bottom two. If there's any tension, then release it by taking your hook and following around your peg, and then looping it onto that corner peg. And now let's take off our wing, and don't take it off of this, we're going to put it on a hook to attach it to the bottom part of this top wing. So let's take a holding hook and put this aside right now. And here you have your connector band sticking out. One, two, three, four, and this one will be the fifth one. And now let's make the second part of our top wing. Taking a single twist double, and I'm coming down diagonally. Single twist double, coming diagonally down from this the first right to the second left and we'll come down single twist double and this is the um, aqua the ocean blue it's coming down twice on the left side and I'll come with a navy blue that should be the last one for the left side of our loom so that's one, two, three single rubber bands that we doubled. Now let's work now the right side. We'll come one, two, three, and we'll come with the navy, one. Again, we are single, twist, double, two, with our navy. And let's work the center peg, single twist double, coming once. Twice. And again, you can do whatever color you want. I'm doing navy twice to come to the center peg. So that's two for the sixth peg on the center. So that's what you should have. So three on here four and five rubber bands coming across the top. And now I'm taking a single black for the border. Single, double. So I'm coming from the right to the center and the center to the left. It should be in that order. And I'm taking a single and I'm looping it three times to create four loops. 
Again, I'm capping this top one off, taking a single black and looping it three times to create four loops. Now I'm putting some holding rubber bands, taking a single twist double from the third peg to the third peg and those two should be enough. We're going to attach the wing so turn it around the top of our wing so now the right side is facing me and I'm taking where my hook is and I'm attaching it to the first peg so very carefully pull it and you're going to make sure that all your rubber bands get onto that peg if you lose any, then your wing will come apart. So make sure you get all the loops onto that first peg. And then pull your wing and use your connector band. You should connect it to the second, the third. There should be two rubber bands per connector set. It's very tight. So I'm connecting it to the fir first with, with the, where my hook was, the second, the third, the fourth, and then lastly where my holding rubber band is. Take that off and I'm going to attach it onto the fifth. So stretch it out. And I'm connecting, there should be three single rubber bands. Pull it all the way very tight and connecting it to the fifth peg. So again you should connect it on the first where my hook was and then the second, third, fourth, and fifth peg on the right side of our loom. That's what it should look like and now let's loop, go under the left side under the cap band, grab the top two bands and loop up and onto itself, go in Grab the top two blacks and loop up. Now we can loop up this side if we want. The very right peg, the row, the right row, just loop up all the way to the top. Reach in, grab the bottom two, looping up and onto itself. Loop up the center, reach in, grabbing the bottom two. And lastly, the left row, go in, grabbing the bottom two. And now what you want to do is loop from the left all the way back to the right. And that's where we'll put a holding or a band to connect it to a butterfly. So that's what you should have. Let's take it off the loom. Don't take the center, the first right off yet. Just take the rest off very carefully. And for here, you want to take a single black, because the body, my body will be black, single twist double, and like a slip knot, you're going to take, use your holding hook if you're doing that. If not, use your hook and then transfer it onto a pencil or whatever you're using to hold. So you want to put your hook through, grab your rubber band like a slip knot, and get it on your hook and take your wing off the loom very carefully. It's very tight. So there's the top of your wing. The second one, again, you'll have to pause the video to make another one. 
and come back and we'll make this one. So to make the bottom of the wing, we're taking a single black twist double and coming from the right side, the first to the second peg, single twist double and we're coming diagonally down like that. And this way, this is what you're seeing, this is the outside of our butterfly, this part here, so think about what color you want to make it. I'm making it black and then the long part of our butterfly here, so I'm making the exact same as this one, so think about what color you want to use. So this black, I'm coming down five times, single, twist, double, one, two, three, four, five, and the top, coming with my ocean blue, coming down six times or three times with my ocean blue and three times with my navy blue now I'm coming down the center I'm going to use similar colors my Ocean blue coming down twice and the rest I'll come down navy blue come down three times now for the border of my wing I'm taking a black and again I'm coming from the right to the center single double the center center to the left you want to take a single and loop it three times to create four loops now on this side making the long part for the tail so I'll do that on the loom this time to show you single double and we'll do that three times two three and then we'll cap it off by looping it four times total and you can also do that on the hook so go under grab the bottom two bands looping it up and onto itself I guess I could have attached it there, but since we didn't attach it, let's take it off and just attach it to the right bottommost peg there. So there's the long part of our tail. Now go under the cap band, grab the bottom two or the top two blacks, and loop up and onto itself, which is the center. And let's put some holding rubber bands first, taking a single twist double. So that's two. We'll do it four times three. Four. So you have four holding rubber bands total. Now go back in the center peg grab the top two black and loop it onto itself and now let's do the center just reach in grabbing the bottom two bands and looping it onto itself now let's loop the right side first go in grab the bottom two blues and loop up and onto itself and just continue up and we want to stop at the second peg on the right side of our loom just go up and onto itself stop here 
Now let's loop up the left side, go in, grab the bottom two. So I looped up to the third peg on the left. Now let's reach in on the left, grab the bottom two, and loop up to the second peg on the right very carefully. Be careful not to break your bands. And then lastly, we're reaching in the second peg and I feel tension. My rubber band's not looping, so release my tension and looping it up and onto the first peg. And now let's take it off the loom. I'm going to put my holding hook to catch it. So you can adjust any loose rubber bands. You can do that later. So that's the, the bottom of my wing. So that's your second wing. Go ahead and pause the video to make your second one and come back when you're done. Let's make the body of our butterfly taking two single rubber bands and coming from the center first peg to the center second and coming diagonally on both sides like that. And now we want to close it off the head will be pretty small. So that's the head of our butterfly. And now let's make the body taking two single rubber bands. We'll come down the center first and come diagonally on both sides. And then we'll come down once on both sides. That and let's close it off. So we're coming from the third peg to the fourth peg in the center with two single rubber bands. Let's close off the body, taking two single rubber bands coming from the third to the center peg, the center fourth peg. And I'm taking two single rubber bands and coming down to continue for the, the bottom part of our butterfly. And here I use three single rubber bands and I'm making him smaller so I'm just doing it four times with two single. So taking two and coming down a total of four. So that's my second, third, fourth with two single rubber bands. Now I'm taking a single and I'm going to cap that off by looping it twice or looping it three times total or twice to create three loops. Now I'm taking a single and creating a holding rubber band on the body like that. Let's make the eyes. I'm taking the same color as the body. This is um, ocean blue and looping it three times to create four loops. Taking a single white, looping it twice on one side, twice on the other. There's one eye. Repeat for the other eye. Now taking a single black, which is the color of the body, and you can make your butterfly rainbow if you want. So pull the eye in that order right onto the single black. Repeat for the second eye. And let's add it onto our loom, the first peg to the first peg. And we can fix our eye later. And now let's add the wings. So we want to add it. So that way the tip is up. So there should be four single rubber bands and I'm attaching it 
on the second peg on the left and the right. So making sure the tip is pointing up, putting, making sure all the four rubber bands get on the second peg. So that's my left side. I'm going to do my right side. Same thing, attaching it, making sure all four rubber bands is on my loom. The second peg to the second peg. Now let's attach the bottom wings. And this one I want the long end to be closest to the body. There should be four single rubber bands again and you're attaching it on the third peg on the left and the third peg on the right. So there's my butterfly. The wings are on. Yours should look like that. And now let's loop up. Go under the cap band, very end of the tail. Grab the bottom two bands and loop up and onto itself, creating teardrops as you go. Now you're at the body, grabbing, grabbing the top two bands, looping it up to the center. Go in again, grab the next top two, and mine is going to the right, looping it onto itself and looping to the left. Do either side, go in. If you can't see it, push it down. Grab the bottom two bands, and looping it onto itself, and then the right wing, go in, grabbing the bottom two bands, and looping it onto itself. Now let's do the left side, go in again, same thing. Grab the bottom two bands, loop it up and onto itself. Just continue the left side up to the second peg in the center. Let's loop up the center, grabbing the bottom two bands. And we're finished with the body. Check to make sure you have teardrops up and down your creation. Now go in the second peg. Carefully pull all the rubber bands back. Grab the top two bands and very carefully up and on to itself. Mine's coming to the left. The next two should go to the right. Reach in either side, the left or the right. Go in, grabbing the bottom two, looping it onto itself. Go to the right, do the same thing. And lastly, you want to reach in, grabbing the center bottom rubber band and loop up and onto itself. And that's your last rubber band. Now take your slip knot rubber band and tie it off. Just take your butterfly off the loom. your butterfly and you can adjust everything, fix the eyes, push it out and make sure it's in the order. That you want. So there's your butterfly. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching.